What's up? Welcome to this week's vlog. Once again, we're out in the warehouse. Check out a few new products that came in while we were away at iCast. Up first is some stuff from Kitec. We just picked up Kitec. Up first is their Live Impact Series. Live Impact Series all utilizes a real soft plastic. It has a lot of action, just like a lot of hand pour plastics, but it's a little more durable than most hand pours. Kitec also incorporates um, a nice squid scent in all their Live Impact Series, so it has a nice cool scent to them. The first one we have here is their V-Tail Crawler. Real finesse style worm. It's actually a two-tone color here. It's got a nice little uh, V-tail on the back there for a little added action. It's a great little bait for shaky head drop shots. Uh, where this bait really excels, and a lot of guys are using it for right now, is actually wacky rigging this bait. It has a nice little sexy quiver as it kind of falls to the bottom. They also have their live impact worm. It's just a four-inch impact worm. Cute little finesse style worm. Got the rib body, uh, the fork tail. Great for drop shot and split shotting. Uh, some finesse Carolina rigging style stuff. Cool little small worm there. They also make the Shad Impact. This is a fluke style bait, as you can tell. It's got the nice little slip belly there for your hook to go inside. You can fish great as a you know a fluke or any kind of soft style jerk bait. But where bait works really well is a lot of guys using the four inch version is for drop shotting and on shaky heads. Now up next, I think it's probably gonna be our most popular seller in the Live Impact series. This is the Swing Impact. This is the 4 inch version. Looks a lot like the Reactions Innovations Skinny Nipper. A lot of you guys that fish those, you know it kind of has the same kind of paddle tail design. The bait swims a lot like the Skinny Nipper. It has a nice wide swimming action to it. This guy actually has some a rib body here to give a little added vibration. Then on the top and the bottom it has little slits in there for the hooks to fit in. So they fit in there nice and neat and keeps you from getting hung up. They also make a little spider grub. They call it the Little Spider. As the name implies, just a cute little spider grub here, real finesse style. This is their three inch version. They also make a two and a half and a three and a half inch version, so real finesse little plastic here. It's made from a different type of plastic than the Live Impact stuff is. It's real durable. It's kind of like a 3X style material. Well, it's going to stretch, not going to tear up. It's going to last you a long time. Now, some of this, this 3X uh, super plastic stuff, it's kind of tough to rig because it is so durable. So they kind of incorporate a little hole in there, so it's real easy to slide your hook through and make it real easy to rig up. Now you can fish that bait in any type of shaky head or football head you like, but Kitec actually makes their own head. This is a super football head, real finesse style little football head. You take a look at it here, you can tell that it's made from a compressed tungsten resin, so it's a nice clean looking head. Got a little green paint on there to, to match the jig. Also comes with a uh, medium wire Gamagatsu hook and nice light fine wire uh, fiber weed guard, sorry, so you get a real good hookup with these guys. Real cool little finesse football head. Now Kitec also makes their own line of jigs. They're all hand tied, all use Gamagatsu hooks and utilize some custom SR40 rubber. It's a real fine rubber, as you can tell here. So when you're working the bait, it's gonna flare up real nice, have a lot of cool action when you're working that jig. Same tungsten resin head, got the light fiber weed guard and a light wire hook. Now they make a casting jig, this is their model one. You tell it has a traditional kind of casting head design there. Same tungsten head, same rubber weed guard, or sorry, rubber skirt. It's got a little beefier medium wire hook and a little beefier weed guard for fishing in a little more heavy cover situations. Now on the other end of the spectrum, they also make a real finesse jig. This is their guard spin jig. It's a real compact little jig, same type of rubber. This is their 332nd out, so it's a real small little jig, real finesse. It's got a light wire hook on it and a real light uh, weed guard there for good hookups. Up next is our marine storage systems from Plano. As the name implies, these boxes are made more for storing marine products like uh, spare parts, spare props, um, tools, and what have you. You're know, not really made for tackle, but it will work for tackle as well. They come in three different sizes, the small, the medium, and the large. This is the smallest version here. All three sizes have a little quick access top here to keep you know tools you want to keep real handy, or anything you want to keep a little easy access to use. They all feature a single latch design, so it's really easy to open, handy to get to. When you open it up, you can see here, it also has a uh, rubber gasket on the outside here. Makes this box very water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it's very water resistant. It will help keep your tools, like I said, spare props, anything you want to keep uh, handy for when you have some problems on the boat, you're good to go. Now the medium and large versions also have a removable tray that you can pull out and keep all your tools on top and keep them handy for you if you're working on the boat. Now if you are looking for some waterproof storage. Plano does have their Plano Guide Series cases. 100% waterproof. This is They do have three sizes in this one as well. This is their larger version. It's got a nice 
waterproof sealed latch here when you open it up. Also has this plastic insert in here. It serves two purposes. It acts as a gasket to make that watertight seal, but also provides a little shock absorbency for like your cell phones, um, cameras, electronics, anything you want to keep dry uh, when you're on the water. And they also provide an extra piece of the rubber material in here for added shock absorbency. When you close it down here, you can actually almost kind of hear sometimes the air sealing up when you open it. It also has a little setup for locks if you want to keep it nice and secure. Now if you do happen to get your tools rusty, we do have a line of new product from Bullfrog. You've had these strips for a while. I use these strips in all my tackle boxes that have hooks in them, anything with crankbaits, rip baits, uh, your terminal tackle box especially, I keep two or three of these in my terminal tackle box, keep from your hooks from rusting up. But as Joey pointed out, the guy that buys all this stuff for us is that if you utilize these rust blocker shields, these are actually made for hanging them inside gun, uh, gun cases and what have you, but you can actually trim this guy down and put it inside your terminal tackle box. And it serves two purposes. It provides a lot of service area, so it's going to absorb a lot of that rust and keep your hooks from rusting up. But also, when you go to close your box, it makes a nice tight seal with that foam in there. So it keeps the hooks from sliding around. Uh, if you got the, you know, the box upside down or sideways inside the boat, it's not going to get your hooks all unorganized. I have to spend all that time getting them nice and organized. Now, if you do happen to get some rust inside your tackle box or on your hooks, for minor rust, you can use these tools to wipe down the hooks and inside your box to get rid of all that rust. And as you're cleaning it off, it actually puts on some of their uh, VPCI material, which actually protects the hooks or whatever you're wiping down from getting rusted again. But if you have some real major rust damage, like a pair of pliers, like a lot happens a lot of times, check out this rust remover. All you gotta do is you squirt this rust remover on your pliers or suck your hooks in it, whatever you wanna remove the rust from. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. If it's real bad rust, you might wanna let it soak for about an hour or two, so it soaks in real good. And I actually did some pliers the other night and let them sit overnight, did a real good job. After it's done, just rinse it off, the rust is good, or the rust is gone. But if you want to keep from stuff from getting rusted up again, you might want to check out the Bullfog Heavy Duty Gel Rust Blocker. Real easy to use, just take your pliers or wherever you want to protect, squirt it on there, let it sit. After a while, it kind of dries a nice clear film. It's real durable, or flexible film, so it's not going to chip or break off like a paint would on a pair of pliers, but it's going to protect your pliers from getting rusted for years to come. Thanks for checking out this week's vlog. Make sure to check back in two weeks for some more new product here at the warehouse.